Welcome to an introductory lesson on the additive and multiplicative principles of counting. Let's start with a couple of questions. Let's assume a restaurant offers eight appetizers and 14 entrees. Number one, how many choices do you have if you will eat one dish, either an appetizer or an entree? And number two, how many choices do you have if you are extra hungry and want to eat both an appetizer and an entree? And now let's define the additive principle. The additive principle states that if event A can occur in M ways and event B can occur in N disjoint ways, where disjoint means events A and B cannot occur at the same time, then the event A or B can occur in M plus N ways. So again, if event A can occur in M ways and event B can occur in N disjoint ways, then the event A or B can occur in M plus N ways. The additive principle does generalize to more than two events. However, it's important to remember that or does not always mean add. And now for the multiplicative principle, if event A can occur in M ways, and each possibility of A allows for exactly N ways for event B to occur, then the event A and B can occur in M times N ways. The multiplicative principle also generalizes to more than two events. And it's important to remember the word and does not always mean multiplication or times. And now let's go back to our two questions. So again, number one, how many choices do you have if you will eat one dish, either an appetizer or an entree? Number one involves the additive principle. In this case, there are eight plus 14 or 22 choices if you will eat one dish, either an appetizer or an entree. And this should make sense. This is like placing the appetizers and entrees on one table and allowing you to select one item. You have a total of 22 choices. Now if we look at this in terms of sets, where there are two sets, set A and B, the set A contains all the appetizers and the set B contains all the entrees. And therefore the cardinality of set A equals eight and the cardinality of set B equals 14. In terms of sets, we are asking for the cardinality of A at union B, which is the number of elements in the union of appetizers and entrees. And since the two sets are disjoint, the cardinality of A union B is simply the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B, which is equal to 22. Again, this is only true because there's no overlap in the two sets, meaning the cardinality of A intersect B is equal to zero. If A and B are not disjoint, then the cardinality of A union B is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of the intersection of A and B, which we'll see in our next lesson. And now let's revisit number two. Again, number two is how many choices do you have if you will eat both an appetizer and an entree? Well, number two involves the multiplicative principle, where there are eight ways to choose an appetizer and 14 ways to choose an entree and therefore there are eight times 14 or 112 ways to choose an appetizer and an entree or 112 choices. Since we want one of each, we can think of this as how many ordered pairs X comma Y are there where X is an appetizer and Y is an entree. And again, hopefully this makes sense. This is like placing the appetizers on one table, the entrees on a second table, and allowing you to select one item from each table you have 112 choices. And now in terms of sets, remember the Cartesian product is a set of all ordered pairs, little a comma little b, where little a is an element of set a, and little b is an element of set b. Which means in this case, we're looking for the cardinality of the Cartesian product of a and b, which is equal to the cardinality of a times the cardinality of b, which is 112. I hope you found this helpful.